Hello, educators. Welcome to today's session where we dive into the fascinating world of plant life cycles. Understanding how plants grow, develop, and reproduce is crucial for teaching young students about the natural world. It connects directly to fundamental concepts in biology, ecology, and environmental science, offering rich opportunities for interdisciplinary learning. Let's explore how you can effectively bring the life cycle of plants to life in your classroom. Introducing plant life cycles. Start your lesson with an overview of the different stages in a plant's life cycle. Explain each phase, from seed germination to sprouting, growing into an adult plant, flowering, and finally, producing seeds that will start the cycle all over again. Utilize diagrams, videos, and real plant examples to illustrate these stages visually, making it easier for students to grasp. Hands-on project, growing a plant from seed. One of the most effective ways to teach plant life cycles is by having students experience it firsthand. Choose a plant that completes its life cycle relatively quickly, such as a bean plant. Provide each student or small group with potting supplies, soil, seeds, and pots. Guide them to plant the seeds and care for them in a classroom setting. This practical activity not only deepens their understanding, but also keeps them engaged through hands-on learning. Keeping a growth journal. Encourage students to maintain a growth journal or a digital diary for their plant. They should document every stage, from the first sprout to the mature plant. Have them make regular entries noting growth changes, measuring the plant, and making drawings or taking photos. This ongoing project will help them observe and record the life cycle in real time, enhancing their observational and scientific recording skills. Exploring pollination and ecosystem roles. As plants reach the flowering stage, introduce lessons on pollination and the roles of various pollinators, including insects, birds, and wind. Discuss how pollinators are essential for the reproduction of many plants and how this fits into larger ecological systems. Consider setting up a pollination experiment or inviting a local beekeeper to speak to the class, providing a broader perspective on how plants are intertwined with their environment. Connecting to broader concepts. Link plant growth to broader ecological and biological concepts. Discuss topics such as food webs, plant roles in ecosystems, and human impacts on plant life. This will help students understand the importance of plants beyond their life cycle and see the big picture of biodiversity and conservation. Conclude the unit by having students present their projects. This can be through a presentation, a poster session, or a digital slideshow, where they share what they've learned about their plant's life cycle and its role in the ecosystem. Encouraging students to present their findings not only reinforces their learning, but also boosts their confidence and public speaking skills. By taking a comprehensive approach to teaching plant life cycles, you make the subject tangible and engaging. Students gain a deeper appreciation of nature's processes and the importance of plants in our world. Thank you for joining today's educational session. I hope you feel equipped and inspired to introduce the wonders of plant life cycles to your students in a manner that sparks curiosity and fosters a deeper connection with the natural world. Happy teaching and remember every small seed planted in the minds of young learners can grow into profound understanding and appreciation for nature.